Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my vlog. We are gonna walk to the park, maybe even jog to uh, oh exercise. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Good morning. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna walk to the park. We're gonna exercise, and somebody's gonna do some steps. Ooh. Oh, look, we can walk through. We're at this beautiful park, Kimbro Park. They got a, a butterfly dedicated dedicated to my beautiful lady right here. La Suri and her. So they got a skate park here, it's pretty cool. Street park. Coronavirus. <laughs> five seconds. We're gonna race? Yeah. Alright, you ready? Wait, wait, but Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Que pasó? <laughs> oh wow. shit, it's muddy! Oh my god, <laughs> Yo, what's slits or what? Hey. These are the steps. The steps of death. Woo! Good job! So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna work on your hip abductors. So you're gonna lay there, get on your all fours. Okay. Now rotate your leg, your right leg outward. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah, try to keep your, your like range of movement consistent the way you move your leg each time. Good job. Good job, baby. Now lift your, your, your body up with your left leg, but you want to do it with more explosiveness. So go ahead and uh, thrust your hips forward up like that. But try to do it a little bit faster next time. But you're only going up and then down. Oh, when it comes back down, yes. So go boom. One, two, there you go. Three. It's good. Eddie. So I'm not really counting. I'm just going until I get really tired. How are you feeling? I feel great. <laughs> it's the worst though. Russian twist again. I'm going to do it until I get tired. Very important to work on your core, kind of strengthen your back, less likely to have injury. <sighs> Last but not least, we do crunches, standard crunches. <laughs> She's crazy. Ta loca. Only on Wednesdays. Oh no, wait, today's Tuesday. Yeah. Crazy and beautiful. <laughs> Russian the twist. Strengthen those obliques. Got the side planks, working on the obliques or your love handles, whichever one you want to call it. This exercise is going to isolate her lower core, also the center, but mostly the lower core. The lower you get your leg to the ground, the better without touching. There you go, you're doing a good job. All right, so we ran our stairs, got our, our legs worked out, engaged our core a little bit. I feel good, I feel sore. How do you feel, baby? So sore, but I went up the stairs. I went up the stairs just not as much as you, but that's because right, I ran right. about a mile and a half this morning. <laughs> but yeah, but every morning I've been making a habit to run more. So I haven't been doing as much weight. 
training more just running and running and running and just trying to like lean out and cut weight but yeah now we're gonna run back to the house so we just came across this and i'm definitely not gonna pass this up without doing some pull-ups on it so here we go All right, so I did my pull-ups and I was talking to her about how like I was able to do my pull-ups and I was able to do them with consistency and I was telling her that consistency is pretty much like you just continuing to try. You just don't stop trying. Never stop trying. Never stop pursuing your dreams. Don't let friends or family or anybody tell you that it's a bad idea. Uh, unless it's like really a bad idea, like you're gonna do some illegal shit. So after a nice leg workout, it's really good to walk. It's like a good part of the recovery process along with rolling your muscles. But yeah, I always recommend you stretch and get a foam roller or something. It's a huge part of exercising and recovering and being able to get back out there the next day without as much pain or soreness. And before it's too late, because then if you get too old, you start to lose your plateau ability and then after that you're fucked. So don't wait till it's too late.